Here are some patch tips for the Q108 VCA voltage controlled amplifier. A VCA simply gives you control over the amplitude of a signal and it's one of the basic modules used in virtually every patch. There's an input and an output and there's a control voltage that determines how much of the input passes to the output. The control voltage range goes from nothing at 0 volts to 100% at 5 volts. In addition to voltage control, you have manual control. The gain knob controls the VCA from 0 to 100%, and this lets you turn the VCA on and off manually. Normally, the output of an envelope generator will be voltage controlling the VCA, and the gain knob will be set to 0. Otherwise, the envelope can't turn the VCA completely off. The amount knob controls how much control voltage affects the output. Normally you want this pretty high, even maxed. That'll result in the best signal to noise ratio. This amount knob can act like a volume control. The Q108 VCA has two inputs which are mixed together. This is typically audio from your filter. And it has two outputs, a positive and a negative. For audio, it doesn't matter which one you use. They both sound the same. Then there are two control inputs. One control goes through the amount knob to give you control over how much it contributes to control of the output. The two knobs and the two control jacks are combined to determine how much of the input passes through. The output of the VCA can be fairly high, even 10 volts or higher, so you'll probably be attenuating that signal on your external equipment, whether that's a monitor speaker or a recording system or whatever. For many synth patches, the output of the filter will go into the VCA. Both will be controlled by envelopes. The filter controls the harmonics and the VCA controls the amplitude. Now you might have wondered why the VCA is always on the end of the audio chain, and the answer is noise. Filters are noisy, and having a VCA at the end of the audio chain allows the final sound to be clamped off to zero with much less noise. This is why virtually every synth made has a VCA at the end, even though technically it could operate anywhere in the signal chain. So here's a typical patch using a VCA. The output of the filter will go into the signal input, and the output of the envelope generator will go into the control. Make sure your gain knob is set to zero, otherwise the envelope can't turn the VCA all the way off. Now here's a common mistake when using a very fast envelope generator like the Q179. If you turn the knobs in fast mode all the way down to zero, you'll get clicking. And that's because the envelope generator is doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's operating very fast and it's giving you a very fast rise time. It's turning that signal on very fast. So turn this knob up a little bit on a Q179 0 to 5 is only 100 milliseconds. This clicking can even happen on the decay and the release. Here's another common mistake made when patching the VCA, and that's turning up the gain knob. The envelope turns the gain up higher, but since the gain knob is not at zero, the envelope can't turn the VCA off completely, and that leaves the filter output going through. Now if you have an envelope that has swept the filter down to zero, it might seem quiet, but what you're really getting is some noise left over from the filter through to your output, and that can be noisier than you want. So you want to make sure this gain knob is zero, let your envelope do all the work, and let your envelope turn your VCA all the way off. That will result in the best signal-to-noise ratio.